You are performing this repair at your own risk. You cannot be held responsible for any injuries to yourself or damage done to your device while attempting a repair. To replace the screen on our iPod Nano 4th generation, we'll need our replacement LCD, a small flathead screwdriver, case opener tool, and a small Phillips screwdriver. We'll start using our pry tool and we're going to want to pry the top white piece from the casing. This white piece is held in place with a light adhesive. So we'll pry in the seam and we'll wedge that piece away from the case and that'll come out as well as a slider for the hold switch. Now we have two small Phillips screws that are screwed in at an angle and we'll need to remove both of these. Next, we're going to want to slide this top metal piece, which also includes the LCD frame, upwards about a half inch. We'll work our way up on each side until we've lifted it enough so that we can use our case opener tool to lift it up to the half inch mark. Be extremely cautious of the cable leading to the hold switch, which is commonly damaged while repairing this device. With our LCD frame lifted up about a half inch, we are able to push the glass down and inward, allowing us to remove this glass piece and access the LCD screen port. Next, we'll want to remove this yellow piece of tape. Now using our small flathead screwdriver, we'll carefully lift this black tab in the upward direction, as shown. This is going to release the tension holding the cable into the LCD screen's port allowing us to remove the old screen. Before we're able to remove the screen assembly, we're going to want to free the hold switch from its adhesive. Before we can remove the LCD screen, we'll have to free this cable which is adhered to the frame of the LCD. So we'll get underneath of there carefully using our small flathead screwdriver and we'll first unplug the cable from its port and then peel it back away from the frame. Once that cable is removed, we're free to remove the LCD screen and frame assembly. The LCD screen is held to the frame with adhesive. 
we're going to want to free it from this frame. Now we'll grab our replacement LCD screen and attach it to our old frame. Now we're going to want to slide this screen assembly back in place, insert the cable, and flip the latch back downward. Once that cable is securely plugged into its port, we can take our small flathead screwdriver and push the tab down into the horizontal direction, creating tension in the port so that all connections are securely made and the cable is held in tight. Now I want to slide the screen down enough so that we can reapply the hold switch to its adhesive, but leaving enough space so that we're able to reinstall our front glass. Now we're going to insert our glass below the surface closest to the clip wheel and then we're going to want to push down and up to secure it in place. Now we'll carefully slide the screen assembly back down, being cautious of the hold switch. Now we can reinsert those two angled Phillips screws on opposite sides of the top. Now we'll correctly position the hold switch slider before reinstalling our top white cover. Once you've installed the top white cover, you can slide the hold switch side to side and confirm that it's actually moving the internal switch. For a full line of parts and services for this model, as well as a number of others, please visit our website, gadgetmenders.com. Thanks for watching.